I'm going to be talking about the Vancouver mayor. I'm going to be showing a short video. I'm going to show you the words that he says. <laughs> oh my God. The guy is a complete cop hater. I don't care. He is. Let's just, say, let's just say it. Let's be honest about it. Got rid of street checks. He's not for police. He doesn't like police and police hate him, I guarantee you. He said everybody was systemically racist in the Vancouver Police Department. And that's how you get elected and that's how you get re-elected. So he comes out with this idea. Vancouver mayor proposes 25 councillors to address street disorder if re-elected. 25 councillors? That's what you do when you hate police. Not 25 police officers. Because we want to defund the police. Which we have, basically. We don't like what the police do. So he wants councillors. They need more staff, according to him, to, tr to treat the uncontrollable so-called homeless population in Vancouver. Ever been to Hastings Streets? It's nuts. It's crazy. It always has been. It just gets worse and worse every year. It is a crisis that has affected all our community, and we've got to do something about this. They, they're going to do something about this crisis. They're going to fix their minds, right? No. We're expanding uh, overdose prevention sites. More overdose prevention sites. What are those, Clint? Safe injection sites. Come on in. Come on in. You got heroin. I'll watch you. Sit down with you. Watch you do your heroin. Make sure you're safe doing it. It's going to expand that. We need people trained in harm reduction and de-escalation. To we need more people trained. We need more people trained because you guys aren't doing your job because there's so many homeless people. And by the way, they're not homeless. Okay, stop calling them homeless. They're mentally ill. That's what they are. At the overdose prevention site, every day have situations that come up. Every day they have situations that come up at these overdose prevention sites, guys. Maybe it's time to close it down. It's not working. You're failing. <laughs> of course, it's not going to work. These guys are insane. It's nuts. M trying to mix in with civilian staff who are normal. It doesn't work. If you have a safe injection site in your town, they're the problem. Your mayor is the problem. These people are the problem. They're not the fix. They're not fixing these people. They're babysitting them, watching them inject their illegal drugs and expecting them to be normal. They're not. These are dangerous people. And now you want counselors instead of police officers interacting with them. Insanity. It's insanity. And this guy here knows nothing about policing. She knows nothing about... These, these dummies in the back know nothing about policing. People who know nothing about policing, these are their suggestions. These are their ideas that don't work. It hasn't worked. It doesn't work. A 311, um, call someone, a 311, um, where someone would come, a few people could come, they could help us de-escalate situa de situations, whether it be um, bear spray, pepper spray. Uh Is she talking about the counselors coming with pepper spray? <laughs> Drop the knife, Billy. I'm going to pepper spray. How is that de-escalation if they're going to come with bear spray or pepper spray? Isn't that escalation? All we need is is someone to talk to the person and calm them down. Um, help them with whatever they need. Maybe some... Help them with whatever they need. Whatever you need. <laughs> it's funny to me because I used to be a police officer. So hearing this stuff just come out of people's mouths. Hey, you just need to talk to them, Clint. Okay. Help them with whatever they need. Reason with them. They're reasonable. Maybe some water or food. Oh, that's what they need. They might need some water or food. No, sorry. They need to be sober. That's what they need. And you need to stop wrecking the problem. Start fixing the problem. And getting rid of these overdose prevention sites. You build it, they will come. And the community will just continue to grow and grow and grow like they are 25 more counselors let's they're growing it they're not fixing it just a band-aid you need some water billy hmm? are you hungry you need some clothes why wouldn't you be a drug addict in canada these people don't she says food why, why would food why would somebody come with food they're not hungry why why would you need three people to show up with food and water <laughs> have a, a situation where they've you know urinated in their pants there's a lot of different really terrible situations urinated in their pants well that's that's a big problem right somebody who urinated in their pants call the counselors all 25 of them somebody urinated in their pants bring clothes food water <laughs> 
Oh, man, they hit it out of the park with this one. He pissed his pants, code yellow. <laughs> Call them up, 311. Idiotic. That's how he's going to fix the homeless problem. Not going to make their minds better. Not going to apprehend them. Don't want police involvement. What we need is, a, we need $5 million right away up front, guys. That's all. They will de-escalate situations, situations and provide care using a cultural, gender, and trauma-informed approach. <laughs> what? Did you guys get that? Did that make sense to you? No, it didn't make sense to you. Because it doesn't make sense. That's what they do. They don't even know what they're talking about. I love this comment here from Stuart. Being homeless or living with a mental illness is not a crime. Well, then make it a crime. Make it a crime. Because it should be. Nobody should be mental living on the streets. Nobody. They should be apprehended, taken away, made to get better. Make it a crime. Maybe that's your problem right there. And I thought this was funny. ABC Vancouver has promised to hire 100 police officers. And I thought, what the hell is that? That's more like it. So I clicked on it. And I got an ad. And this guy popped up. And I read this article. I don't know anything about him. Sim, he wants to, he wants to run for mayor. I think it's coming up in October or November or something like that. He wants to hire 100 cops. And I'm like, I would, I would pick that guy any day over Stewart. I liked his idea. And I don't know, read it. I'm not going to read it to you because this video is already too long. If you enjoyed that short bag of dicks, you can watch the full episode right here. Whoa!